Hex Blue is is the latest uh, cool sensor from from Leonardo DRS. It uh, gets its name from Hexa Blue being six micron pitch, uh, which is going to be the smallest production pixel pitch in the industry. Uh, blue is just an indicator that it's cryogenically cooled, so that's that's where Hexa Blue gets its gets its name. It is a incremental improvement over our Zafiro product line, which was a 12 micron pitch uh, cryogenically cooled sensor. And what what really dis discriminates both of these uh, sensors in the marketplace is, is size, weight, and power. Hexa Blue is is a high definition sensor in that same form factor so we've been able to uh, shrink the pixel pitch uh, cut it in half and so we're getting four times as many pixels in the same volume as the predecessor technology the sensor is so small that you actually can make it dismounted you can uh, have weapon sites that that have mid-wave uh, infrared capability that can see twice as far as the long wave uncooled systems can today um, Power is important because in many of these, in particular, dismounted systems, you're battery operated. So you need to have low power so that you can operate those batteries for a longer period of time. Uh, what's, what's really unique about Hexablue is the six micron pixel uh, really allows you to design your optics around a, a much smaller uh, footprint. It really allows you to, uh, A, put the, sens the sensor across multiple platforms, uh, and it allows you to get more capability, first of all, pixels uh, downrange, which allows you to make positive ID at, at uh, longer standoff ranges. So that allows the allows you to uh, detect a threat at a longer distance, allows you more time to um, take action. So it's uh, survivability as well. Um, so those are, those are a couple of the main, uh, main benefits of, of this technology. Hexablue is small enough that, uh, you know, typical traditional uh, applications where you wouldn't think of putting a cryogenically cooled sensor are now in play. Um, so we're, we're going after markets that are dismounted, uh, things that are fire control, uh, when you want to call in fires on a, on a location, um, weapon sites, sniper sites, uh, spotter scopes, those those sorts of things. And, and, and really, uh, what, what the differentiation of Hexablue is specifically, we're, we're adding more pixels. And so you, you're able to determine um, friend or foe. Uh, am I looking at somebody holding an AK-47 or am I looking at somebody holding a AR even, or maybe it's a camera, maybe it's a, a shovel, a rake. You're able to do a positive ID on somebody at a longer range. The customer doesn't necessarily want all of our bells and whistles. They want to be able to buy it without the bells and whistles as well. So we've been able to to do that. And then really the most uh, dramatic thing is that we have architected the Hexablue uh, with multiple configuration options. And as the end user, you can just pick which one, which focal plane you want, and you can design a system around it. And that system doesn't have to change for mechanical mounting, electrical interface. Uh, certainly the optics may have to change, but, but uh, I think it'll, it, it gives the customer a, a ability to create a, a product portfolio of their own uh, to be able to sell different variants of say a gimbal. And they can, they can have the same mechanical mount, uh, same mechanical bench, electrical interfaces, uh, image processing. And by putting a different sensor in, you can just change out the optics and you have a totally different payload.